Hello guys, welcome to my channel. This is the 18th tutorial in this course and in this tutorial we are going to talk about the remaining logical operators that we checked out in the PowerPoint in the last tutorial but we didn't see in action in, in the MySQL environment, right? So the, the logical operators that we're going to talk about are in, between and all, right? So let's check out the in operator first. Let's say you want to find out details of all employees uh, who have age equal to 28 or 30 or 36, right? And the way in is going to enable you to do this is you have to first uh, type in the keyword select. Oops, wait a second, let me get my cursor in the uh, editor environment. So select and then star because we're pulling data out from all columns and then the from keyword and the name of the table which is employee and then on the next line you type in the where uh, keyword and then the column on which you want to apply the in operator so that would be in this case age and then you type in in and then within parentheses you type in a value list right so age is a field that holds numeric values so you do not have to place the values that you are going to put in this in the parentheses within single quotes so you know if you want to find out details with employees with age 28 put 28 there and if you want to find out details of employees with age 30 all you have to do is put in a comma here and then the, the value which is 30 and if you also want to find out details of employees with age uh, 36 you type in 36 too right and at the end of the parentheses you put in a semicolon to terminate the statement press control enter and there you go you would see that in the results set we get two records you know andy with id 1911 has age 28 and pete with id 1913 has age 36 so there's no employee in the table that has age 30 right so this is what the in operator allows you to do you know you can have a list of values between parentheses and the age uh, you know the values in the age field in the table would be compared to the values that are there in the list one by one right so for the first record the value in age would be compared to the values in the list 28 30 or 36 if the value matches with any of these values then it would appear in the result set otherwise it would be skipped so next we're going to check out the between operator now let's say in this query you do not want to you know find out only the employees that have age equal to these three values but you want to find out details of all employees that have age between 28 and 36 right so even if the age is 31 you want that employee to be in the result set if the age is 34 you want that employee to be in the result set so you know to do that you have to use the between keyword and uh, i let the you know first part of the query be the same you know i just make modifications in the last uh, you know line line number three so where you type in age again and then you type in the keyword between right and then you type in the first value which in this case would be 28 and then you type in the keyword and right and the final value which is 36 so this is going to result into all records that have the value for the age field between 28 and 36 and when i press control enter I see that this time the result set is much more elaborated. It's got a lot of records. So Howard with age 29 also appears in the result set now because the age of Howard is 29 and that's between 28 and 36. And you also see Shane with 33, Andy with 28, and Jim with 34, Pete with 36, Kurt with 34, and I missed Roger with 32, right? So that's about the between keyword. The next keyword that we're gonna talk about is a little difficult for me to explain. You know, uh, it's the all operator and uh, you know, what it does is, uh, I'm gonna explain that, I'm gonna explain the all operator to you, you know, with the help of an example. So let's say you want to find out details of all employees whose age is less than the age of all employees who have a salary greater than, you know, let's say 20,000, right? So the, the condition, you know, just focus on the condition part, you know, what all constraints are you imposing through the condition? So I'll repeat the condition again. You want to find out details of all employees who have age less than the age of all employees or the ages of all employees who have salary, you know, greater than 20,000. So the, the query that is going to be, you have to use select and star obviously because you're pulling out, you know, details all, all from all fields. And then you're going to type in the from keyword, and name of the table. And then you type in the where keyword and you type in the age field, right? Because the constraint starts with age. You want to, you know, impose your constraint on the age field. That's, that's where your condition is sort of based on. So you want to find out details of employees who have age 
less than the age of uh, all employees and, and this condition has to be in parentheses right so you use select again and uh, some people would say this is uh, you know a sub query but you know you have to use the all operator here so you know it's it's more like uh, a demonstration of the all operator than you know uh, you know an example of sub query and we're going to talk about sub queries later on in the course in more detail but for the time being just know that you have to you know achieve this sort of a thing in this way so select uh, age from employee right and I'll put this in capital letters because it's an SQL keyword and uh, then you type in the last part of the condition where salary is greater than 20,000 put in a semicolon at the end to terminate the statement and there you go you see that in the results set we get only one row and this is for Philip with ID 1910 so the age of Philip is 20 and the age of Philip is less than the age values of all rows that are returned by this query right so if you would execute this query independently let me show you guys what the result set is right so I'll paste it here put a semicolon and when I press control enter you see that you get all these values you know 29 25 27 21 33 34 36 23 24 and 27 so you know Philip is the only employee you know who has a value for age that's less than the values that are returned by this query and this is the second part of the condition that we spoke about you know when I mentioned the condition to you right so that's all about logical operators in case you guys have any doubts then you can put in your comments in the comment box below and I'm going to try to reply to as many as I can and uh, please subscribe to my channel in case you haven't already and uh, I'm going to see you guys in the next tutorial in which we'll discuss something interesting and important again so see you